Hi friends, in the part one of this restaurant management system, we have seen how you have taken in the set of uh, static menus means there is no scope of changing. In the part two, we have seen because uh, we kept our items in the database. So you can change the lunch here. I am just clicking the three radio buttons to uh, select a particular category of uh, products or this item. So breakfast, lunch or dinner, whatever it is. Now we have also seen how we have generated the bills also. Let's just uh, see once more. This is uh, I am selecting item. These are touch also. I can increase. We use the touch uh, also to increase or decrease the items. Now let's have to click get bill. So once I click the get the bill, so here the bill is generated. So this is the with the 10% tax and all. Now I suppose I have received the cash. Now I will confirm and reset. What happens now is from now onwards, this once I click the confirm, this entire whatever the bills are generated and all, it will be stored in a database. So once the database, I can generate the invoice or the bill anytime I want. Even the unique number, bill number I will generate and that bill number can be used in future also to generate the invoice. Now let's see how that part works. Here you can see moment I am confirming fine it has come to the reset mode so flex bill but i can generate because now the all the whatever is sold the items with its price this uh, tax and all are stored in the database so now i'll just click this bill so here is my invoice the so bill number 90 this is a unique bill number here and which date what are the items total tax and total to keep it simple we have just giving this much information only you can further extend it whether the discount should be on the product based or tax how much the tax will be you can change it now this data is stored in the database now let's just close it and see just remember this bill number is 90 which is a dynamical it's auto increment field which comes from the bill table now let's just close it and see next bill what the number will be i can just change it to dinner let's say it's dinner so all the menu items are reflected the dinner items so now i'm just giving few more uh, items i'm just adding to the menu so these you know these spin boxes and all are created dynamically based on the number of items and all one more let's go here i'll go one more item fine now i'll say get the bill so here it is my bill is this much price quantity total everything now let me just confirm this fine it is okay here is the now the it is reset to the next bill but uh, my invoice is generated or bill is generated so i want to see that i can click this you can see this invoice is generated now specifically what information should go to the invoice you can add up little bit suppose that at GST number customer code because we have not used a customer code in this particular so we are not using that now let us see what happens to our database we are inside our PHP my admin you can use uh, workbrains or any other front-end you are if you are using to manage your MySQL database or we will change the source also so that time we will discuss further now in the part one we have seen this uh, plus two product table this from this table our all the menu items are uh, collected so these are categories availability so you can background you can connect the and see the whether the availability if you make it zero then this will not be visible if you, you can category like breakfast is one lunch is two and dinner is uh, three so like that you can manage the price and the unit we keep it this already we have discussed in the in our previous part two we have discussed this so now let's go back here now there are two more tables we have added one is plus two bills and plus two cells what happens when the plus two cell uh, table whenever the bill is generated and we click that confirm or reset at that particular time you can see that these items whatever is sold or whatever suppose there are 10 items three items are sold those items will be stored here here in this a cell id this is just a auto increment id product id says what product is sold is the id is stored what's the price and what's the quantity now this you can say that why i am because it is already there in the product table the price why we are storing it here the reason is the price of the product may change at that particular sale time what was the price that we must store it it is 30 rupees here but tomorrow it may be 35 rupees but we cannot charge that again the previous bill so it is 30 rupees here now the bill number is a it's supposed 10 it, uh, four items are sold in a particular bill so they all will have a common bill number and a bill date 
you may ask where from that will see because the next table plus two bills will generate this bill number and that we are bringing it here so in a particular bill say in this particular bill there are three items are sold so all the three items have a common bill name so that way any bill we generate we can pull out from that that what are the products sold under this bill name so let's just go to our plus two bills so this particular table here you can see this is the bill number recently the last uh, item whatever we have generated the bill it is here so you can see here it is there so like that 91 it was so all the items we can like that so every first when we uh, before storing it into the cell table we generate a bill number and this is the auto increment field so next number will be next uh, digit next suppose it, it previous bill was uh, 94 so next bill will be 95 so like that this bill number will go bill date again it is the uh, current date today's date we have taken and here you can say total value and tax why we are storing in fact total and tax both are it's a derived only from the total 10 percent tax we can take now here it is to keep it simple we have just kept it but if you feel that this should go to the cell call table yes that's fine because what happens is tax rate on products may change and discount on a product suppose you want to give some discount but you will not give a uniform discount on total value so in that case the these two columns total tax or if you may add a future discount also all those will go to your particularly at the time of sell plus to sell that table it should go just to keep it simple and all this time we are doing it if you go make it more complex and all you can but better the product attributes should go to the sell table and what Whatever the bill attributes like what is the GST number, customer ID and all should come to the bill, uh, this particular plus two bills table. So like that, these are all this, these three tables are used. Uh, we'll have, you can download the SQL dump of it and uh, uh, install it in your system. So we'll see. Now let's just little bit, we'll understand the code. This is the two, three files we have used this time and then we'll move further this is our main file where uh, earlier also in part one and two we have discussed this i've changed the file name to give you a different different version so you can download and uh, work on it so already one and two source codes are available you can use that this probably will take one or two days because at add the comments and also you can it will be easy for you to understand the code so this is the one but here one difference is was this line number six it is a invoice whatever you have seen that bill is generated that we are keeping it in a separate file and calling it here so that file we will discuss that is there in the as a my invoice so here it is now what happens here inside this is the key is this reset now once you confirm it the bill is confirmed now this reset function is triggered that particular button and in the part one and two we have seen how we have pulled the data from the database and created a uh, dictionary and a tree view we have generated the list now what you are doing moment you click the confirm and or reset one first all the items in is deleted from the uh, that display is tree view and then we have appended one int variable created and all the spin boxes are reset to zero this already we have discussed now here some frames are management managed and here what you are doing is inserting the whatever the items were there in that uh, uh, whatever the sold item the list we are storing it into first into sorry that first we are generating a bill number so here it is insert into plus two bills your total tax bill date this these two uh, three values we are telling and the uh, bill date is that today's date here it is if you want in different format you can't change because mysql stores it in ymd format if you are using excel or something in future you can change the format also so here it is now data i am giving it is passing the total and tax and the data here how i am getting total and all that's because you have already uh, declared total as a global variable above it you can see and that total whatever is calculated in the my bill that total we are taking and note that here you can see the total tax final all this data dl we have declared it as global and here also you can see look at here here also this we are declaring inside the our reset one so those values are available to us and that value we are inserting it here dt is locally calculated and here it is now once it is done 
what happens this particular line number 16 i get the bill number so this is a auto incremented field a dyno system will return me a bill number that i am storing it you can watch our other tutorials how this data is inserted and how a id is taken from the system now once this is done once this uh, uh, then what we, we do is we create the list also and our list of items whatever is sold you can see here there is a for loop dl is again a global variable which contains the list uh, the items which are sold its price all these details that part we are in started inserting to plus to sell table so here it is quantity bill number bill date and values and data is your this list this list is generated once we have whatever the uh, we have seen the quantity sold the bill is not bill that is that is the list of items sold and all is generated that list now once that is over now we are just showing a button see this button is here this button runs clicks the function my invoice my bill number image at the top that has a function for the keeping the image at the top now this i am par passing on the bill number only passing to generate the invoice now what happens the bill number why i am doing this and i am not included in this particular page is the reason is it should be a separate module so what happens from a another application say i am just want to reprint the bill i will just key the bill number then the same function i can call it and generate the bill so the key here is i hope this is clear little confusing if you are uh, if you are not uh, acquainted with the in sorting and storing from the database getting the uh, in sort id and all that you can watch our tutorials how to get those details and all rest everything is simple and for this particular page you have to very very much uh, understand the local variable and global variable many of the global variables we use whatever data is changed inside a function for a global variable that is also available outside the function so we are using that this total this price of the total price tax and all these are part of the global variable now let's just come to the invoice you see now that when the button is clicked here we are just calling the my invoice function now my invoice is something what is we are being importing here or we call uh, connected to here and let's go to my invoice now this file name is my invoice so inside that my invoice is another function this actually we are calling from another file also i can pass this data and call it this again the i'll i can generate the uh, invoice also that is the purpose why it is kept on a separate file and in a modular way so i can reuse it anyway this is just a child you can say it's a top level it's a child window in our uh, web uh, uh, platforms we call it and this is a, you can see i'm just generating a child window here top level background giving a white you can change it based on that little bit font adjustment now what i am doing i received the bill number this function receives the bill number that we are using and select from plus to bill where bill number then next is we are collecting all the using that particular bill number what are the items sold so that is there in the cell table so here plus to cell table is used now you see product name we don't have in the cell table only product id is there so we are connecting it this to product uh, table and by uh, linking with the id and pulling out the product name so that we are using it for displaying and all these are displayed all these are just display part only whatever the data we got it and here it is whatever the items list and all list price because this has to be generated dynamically because we don't know how many products are sold in particular bill number so we can't have a fixed number of uh, uh, items so i have sell one so that is why inside a loop based on the my number of items we have sold in that particular bill we are looping through and generating it these are all dynamically generated and finally rest of the thing is total and all tax calculation and all are just uh, derived functions only it is derived from the data in fact this uh, we have derived it to make it simple but think is here is a problem because here we are using a see this particular point we are using tax rate is 10% while generating the bill you cannot show 20% actually this should have been from the table but to keep it simple we have used it like this so you can understand it and further for your practical uses and all you can further integrate it and automate it there was a question how the bill was generated so and why the gst tax rate discount to be paid 
what the issue here is suppose if the person sitting in the counter should not feed any data because at the background those data should be available if the tax rate is 10 percent it should be available in the system if discount is 12 percent it also should be available in the system because he in the counter if he is asked to select it he may select a wrong also he may not know it's in care of 10 percent he may go to 12 percent why to give a speed it and moreover every product may have a different a rate of tax uh, discount or tax also say on food items 20% discount then in that case back end the administrator can sit in the product table itself the discount figures can be fed so that way and while coming to the billings area the counter person has nothing to do only to collect the cash see the system how much money he has to collect collect the cash generate and print out system will calculate the bill ta discount tax and everything that's all friends so I thought of uh, sharing the third part, but follow the part one and two. For the third part, you must be thorough in the database integration and all, and how the system works in the auto mode and all. And uh, this all the source, uh, source code will be within one or two days will be available to you. And please share these videos with your friends uh, and request them to subscribe. And you, I request one you once again, please subscribe to our channel. So this sort of projects and beautiful tutorials also we are discussing. Put your questions, doubts, suggestions, what improvements you want in the comment section below. Accordingly, we'll try. So, thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel.